Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted uh, that for Bordeaux to be welcoming the 16th Congress, the European Congress of uh, Organic Agriculture, and, uh, and I'd like to thank Anterbio for their invitation and their choice of this fine city. This is the first time, I'd like to stress this, that uh, it's not the European capital, but it's a big regional city which is welcoming the Congress here, and I'm honoured that you chose Bordeaux. And you were right to do so. Bordeaux is a city with a, a, a surface area of 5,000 hectares, but that counts just a few hectares of useful agricultural surface area. And we managed this year, in 2021, last year, over four hectares of the city's uh, land to start up a, a, an organic market with a big project, an agri agricultural project, with a site of 40 hectares north of Bordeaux that uh, we've decided to protect as soon as we came into the uh, municipality two years ago. So we have a role, a fundamental role in the cities to play to ensure that we eat healthily, locally and uh, correctly and so that we can have our economic sectors grow. And it, this involves preserving city, city dwellers' health and those of uh, the farmers as well who can, who simply wish to live and live in dignity from their work. So this is an imperative, and uh, we were reminded of this, if this was necessary, on, of our extreme dependency on importation, importations, and uh, the, which has an effect on the price of uh, food. Here in Bordeaux, we've defined a roadmap in four lines of approach to ensure our food resilience, to develop, first of all, agricultural production in the cities in cooperation with the regions around, especially with our uh, market gardening areas, favour the, the short circuits uh, for food. Thirdly, promote access for all to local and quality food. Fourthly, to recycle uh, bio-waste and reduce food waste. Even when we don't have much uh, agricultural land in Bordeaux, cities have the means to activate a powerful lever for action, that of consumption and uh, food uh, habits. So here, this is how our cuisine, our central kitchen, which produces 2.5 million meals a year for our schools, uh, this means about uh, 23,000 meals a day. And uh, this, our central kitchen has moved on from 27% from of uh, organic food in 2017 to 30% in 21 and 45% in 2021. So we're going to pursue this strong dynamic because our objective is to move on to 60% of organic in 2026 for eight and 80%. This means taking part in organizing the regional sector. The organization which looks after this is a bio, it's a committed uh, organization since 2012. So even yesterday, I, I ate there, and I was able to discuss with the managers of uh, the organization, and I promise you that they're extremely committed for us to be completely exemplary in terms of organic food for our children and for our elderly people. As I say, we, we produce 23,000 meals a day. The purchasing policy for this uh, organization has uh, 50 different markets to favour uh, small producers uh, working locally uh, in organic. Our municipal creches, uh, kindergartens, have moved up from 25 per cent to 25 per cent in 2021, and then since the 1st of January 2022 to 80 per cent of organic. We are lucky in Bordeaux in having two markets that are 100 per cent organic, and we also have started off a number of local producers' markets in the organic sector because we used to develop short circuits. And so the number of producers on the market has increased by 33% since the beginning of our mandate. We're also going to be developing tools for food transition in Bordeaux because we know that the producers in the region around are lacking in laboratories and conservation plants and so on and pasteurization units 
efforts to provide a firm basis for their economic model and avoid food wastage. One of the main features of our city is to in encourage local producers. We've started a major program with them to, to, to see good food for the future in Bordeaux. This involves promoting revegetation re of uh, our plates, our dishes. And we're going to try and get uh, two uh, organic meals uh, a week for in, the, in our schools. In terms of our co climate commitments, because we have to be very, which we are very attached to, the specialists tell us that we must, uh, by 2050, have food based of 75% of veg vegetables and 25% of animal produce. In Bordeaux, we've uh, raised the awareness of uh, inhabitants on this imperative and we're accompanying them to in this uh, collective challenge how to get to more vegetable, vegetable uh, seasonal, healthy and tasty food. We support financially initiatives aiming to get our, our producers and our, our consumers used to, to exchange on questions of price and find solutions to make such food available to a greater number with the experiments into solidarity markets. We're also thinking about valorizing uh, restaurants and, uh, and, and uh, shops in, to get them to use local organic uh, food uh, with a general, uh, general campaign. We also want to encourage our farmers and market gardeners to respect living organisms and especially to adopt the organic circuit. So this is a policy we've been pursuing for two years now. We want to make uh, Bordeaux a, a, a city capable of feeding its inhabitants and uh, providing good food for them as well. So we are aware that our, our food system, it, 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 this use brings up too much carbon dioxide and that's bad for the planet. We're aware, too, of the, uh, the, the question of greenhouse effect gases, and this spring means that we, too, we really need to change our model. The big uh, single uh, uh, crops are one of the uh, re reasons for the loss of biodiversity and the impoverishment of soils. So knowing a lot of uh, breeders uh, who are close to their, their, their animals and uh, market gardeners, I'm extremely, extremely preoccupied to see that uh, the support for the of the French state to the organic sector has been weakened over, the recent, over recent years. France must revise its strategic plan nationally to adapt to the PAC to better support organic farming and to better reward with labels, the efforts uh, that uh, organic farmers consent to. We cannot accept that 25% uh, of the, the surface being converted into organic by 2030 uh, be reduced. We cannot accept that. Well, France has chosen an objective which is less ambitious of 18%. We can't accept that our government supports in the same way uh, farms which HV, whereas HVE allows for the use of pesticides, uh, synthetic pesticides, and we know the damage that this uh, brings to health. Europe has asked France to review its position, uh, and uh, the region, uh, the, the Nouvelle-Aquitaine region, has, is moving to refusing assistance for uh, organic farming, which means that the local uh, determined, determined approach on the climate directive will ensure the health and the balance of our farmers who do the most essential job in the world. As mayor of uh, Bordeaux, I would uh, encourage the uh, vine growing uh, uh, activity to commit to, to organic uh, with this determination to accompany this, uh, this sector. I'd finish off by sharing the, uh, the words of Jacques Eloi Dufault, who purchases uh, forest in Nouvelle-Aquitaine to avoid them being uh, chopped down. And uh, this is the finest done ocean is to give uh, the living world an inheritance. So I'd like to thank all those uh, active in European organic farming for their commitment to give us to provide the best products that are both healthy and tasty. You know, our Bordeaux climate uh, which is usually fairly temperate, but not so temperate today, maybe, is a climate that is, is part of the, uh, the spirit of uh, the Gironde area, which is very much a spirit of innovation, of moderation, and emancipation. This heritage uh, really governs our intellectual and political history, 
uh, uh, the, the, the mayor of uh, 1521, right, right through to the, the MPs of the Girondins uh, during the French Revolution. I'm persuaded, I'm convinced that this microclimate in Bordeaux will inspire and irrigate and, and, and provide uh, food for thought for your works. I wish you an excellent Congress. Thank you. As we are reaching 40 degrees, I can say it, a very warm welcome to all of you here in Bordeaux. Now I'll move back to French. Thank you, Your Worship the Mayor. We are in complete agreement and it's a pleasure to hear your speech and you will see mine is very similar. Our speciality is uh, red wine, and that's why today we are at the uh, we are at the Cité du Vin. But don't worry, we also have some white wine and some rosé wine too. There's 290 of you from 30 different countries, and we're very proud and honoured to welcome you, all of you, in France here in our. Nouvelle Aquitaine region in Bordeaux. Monsieur le maire, cher Pierre. Mr. Mayor, dear Pierre, Mr. President of IFOM, OFIM, IFOM, ladies and gentlemen, representatives of the European Commission, our European MPs, ladies and gentlemen, representatives of the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ecological Transition, French and uh, French people and those from abroad, people attending the Congress, dear members, dear partners, I'd like to thank you for being here today. I wish you a warm welcome in Bordeaux and uh, I'll repeat it again, we are absolutely delighted to welcome you for this 16th European Organic Farming Congress, Agriculture Congress. I'd like to thank, th thank uh, iFoam Europe for having chosen and, and for Bio Nouvelle Aquitaine, and to allow us for the first time to hold this Congress at a regional level. I must say that we are extremely proud, perhaps less uh, than when we joined IFOM Europe. I'd like to salute the exceptional, outstanding and very professional work that you've been doing to best represent the interests of the uh, organic sector in Brussels, from our businesses, our farms, and through the uh, bioregional interprofessional body that I uh, chair, we are in complete uh, harmony on the messages we want to get across, and I think that's important to say uh, here in Gironde. I'd like you to be uh, to receive our warmest thanks for that. A, a quick word now on our organisation. Interview is a, a regional uh, organic organisation in Nouvelle-Aquitaine, which brings together all of the uh, organic family, from uh, the uh, the fork out in the farm to the uh, the, the fork uh, in, 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 over the plate. So we are the regional relay for the National Organic Agency, uh, and I'm delighted to see the director here. Shalom, thank you for being with us today. We count some 300 organizations and businesses as members that represent uh, revenues of 2 billion euros. This is a figure which uh, has doubled over the last few years, over the last five years, and I'd insist uh, that uh, this, is a, this is a kind of a redundant, a, a, a repeated question of journalists relating to the market in France. It's it, there are practically, practically 6,000 organic producers that belong to this uh, interprofessional body. The, the board, the, uh, the board of directors of which I am a member, uh, counts 28 representatives of, of producers and businesses that represent the entire territory here, the entire region. And we also count 13 employees. We don't yet have parity uh, between uh, the sexes. That's a big problem, but uh, I think this is... Uh, will be overcome. We're trying to develop together innovative tools 
to provide support in introducing organic uh, food, especially in uh, the municipal uh, restaurants and so on. Pierre has already talked about it uh, with this uh, fine uh, organic commitment uh, body as part of the new Nouvelle Aquitaine, which now uh, has a reputation in the whole of France, but also we have uh, equitable bio, the uh, brand, uh, the equitable brand Bio Sudwest, which we set up with the uh, regional council. We also have a, a club of uh, organic business uh, financiers, and uh, the, there will be some talks on this tomorrow in the workshops. France welcomes this Congress at a strategic moment, especially where the roadmap, the national strategic uh, roadmap for France doesn't correspond to anything in, in, in terms of our ambitions as uh, a, a, an organic sector. We agree completely with the remarks made by the Commission, especially on the level of remuneration of uh, organics and the unacceptable similarity with the amounts for the national H HVE label, which allows, allows for the use of synthetic pesticides, and which does not settle any of the fr problems we have for the future. We now need a, a strong uh, decision from the Ministry of Agriculture to set things right and, uh, and, and leave us a chance to gain inspiration from our European colleagues. This year, Antabio in Aquitaine, we, we, we've come to 20 years. We've been here for 20 years now just like IFOM uh, Europe. I think this is a good symbol, dear Jan, to jointly organize this Congress, the 16th Congress, together. I also thought that uh, our two directors uh, have the same date of birth, or the, same, the very same day. So maybe this uh, weighed in the decision, but I hope it's not the sole reason for holding this Congress here in Bordeaux. In all events, thank you for your trust, your confidence. I'd like to thank, too, the entire team, uh, obviously Jérôme and Manuel, Marine, Estelle, who worked with the IFOAM team. I'd also like to uh, congratulate them for having organized this congr Congress uh, in, in, in such a short time over the last six months. So thank you again. I also wanted to thank for their support our official partners, the Regional Council of uh, Nouvelle-Aquitaine, the Department of uh, the Gironde and its president will be here with us tomorrow. The Metropolis, the Metropole, thank you, Patrick, the City of Bordeaux, the Water, the Ador at Garonne Water Agency, and the Maison de la Bio. Thank you, Thierry. I was honored to preside, to chair Interbio Nouvelle Aquitaine for 10 years uh, as uh, on behalf of my company, my business, which uh, provides uh, organic uh, drinks and refreshments. And uh, you, you, it's nothing to do with the, the, with the, uh, the weather at the moment. You can drink them in winter as well, if you wish. So I'd like to welcome, too, a representative of, uh, as a representative of production. This is my parting gift, as it were. Thank you, everybody. And again, welcome and uh, have a good working session until tomorrow evening. Thank you. My dear Jan, come here before I hand over the microphone to you. I would like to invite to join us on stage on behalf of the European Organic Family, our Ukrainian colleagues. Dear Katerina, Natalie, Olga, Irina, Eugen, please come here. Please, would you to show them, express your solidarity. Please, please stand up for our Ukrainian, our Ukrainian friends.
Thank you very much. You know, Katharina, I have Roman in my house and in my plant, and it's a pleasure for me. You are in our heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merci beaucoup for your words, for your words, uh, dear Philippe and for all of you for the solidarity with our Ukraine friends and the whole um, Ukraine people and the organic movement in Ukraine. So welcome from my side to our IFARM Organic Congress. And uh, thanks a lot, uh, Monsieur Major from, from Bordeaux, uh, Philippe Jérôme. I'm really impressed. Uh, what I what I heard in your two speeches and what I've seen already uh, from from um, yesterday on, what I've heard, what I've learned on your activities, your speech and your your announcements, what um, what you have decided here in this region, in this city, are not only words. So you you can, you you really um, turn decisions and words into action what actions, what you can see, and you don't stop, you, you move forward and you create examples. I'm wondering if your region or your um, community applied for one of these organic awards of the European Commission, which, uh, which uh, Commissioner Wojciechowski will um, uh, hand over on 23rd of September this year, the first time when we celebrate the organic European Day. So I think this brings really encouragement to the whole um, organic European community. Thanks a lot for your activities here and thanks a lot that you host this European Congress. Um, yeah, you can give applause to, to these people. Yeah. So let me uh, share some thoughts to the current situation where we are and uh, where we meet now. And for sure, we are happy to meet again, to meet physically again, to exchange, and we are thankful that so many of you traveled here to southwest of France um, in, in this summertime um, after a long period without these physical congresses. It's an important time to meet and to discuss because we, we observe not only uh, uh, different crises, we, we observe a lot of crises at the same time. We observe a very complex situation. Let me start just with, the, with what, what, what we all um, observe today uh, on a hot spot in, in, in Europe with climate and uh, the upcoming new droughts all over in Europe, which change our way of farming already today. It's not a discussion of tomorrow, the climate change and the adaptation of our farm and food and nutrition systems to that reality of um, this climate catas catastrophe, what we observe, and, and um, especially water and healthy soils will, will become um, and are already a rare resource in our regions. So um, to understand uh, the, the whole complexity of this system, you need to look behind the things. You need to understand relations, complex relations between farm systems, between the living systems, between the behavior of consumers, between decisions, single decisions, of operators, of consumers, of citizens, of governments, of authorities. And we know how, how, how hard it is to, to, um, to get the right decisions and to, get, to come to the right actions in, in this um, uh, c climate catastrophe. The second complex situation is uh, what we dis discuss nowadays, uh, a revival of the discussion of food security. But behind food security, it's a question on how we 
um, organize nutrition of, of uh, societies, how we organize trade. When we discuss about food security and the difficult situation, especially for the Near East, Far East and, and North African uh, situation, it's not uh, that we have two less grains or two less um, uh, cereals. We know that in Ukraine we have uh, over 20 million tons still in the storages. And it's a question of trade, it's a question that we need um, a solution, that we need peace between um, our, all our nations and that we, that we have to collo collaborate, to cooperate between all peoples on the whole planet and that we have to organize food secu security, not with a very simple answer, with a very simple narrative. In these days, it's very easy to tell the public um, simple narrative. So we need uh, to, 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 uh, to come over the problems of food security. We need to come back to old agriculture policy recipes. We need to intensify agriculture, forgetting the other problem of um, soil, water resources, um, and climate change. So um, this complex problems doesn't, um, doesn't uh, 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 they, they, they are not solved with simple answers. And the other issue, uh, the last issue I want to mention at the beginning of our Congress are the markets. The markets um, and the behavior of the consumer, they are interconnected. And, and in a lot of European regions, we now need, uh, we, we now observe uh, reactions of the consumers. They can travel, they can eat outside, um, uh, and they are confronted by uh, the highest inflation since the Second World War. So all these are, are, are problems, and the, 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 the citizens, the societies, they react on that. And the politicians, they try to, to offer answers. Some of them, they try to answer or to, to, to develop um, answers, simple answers, simple narratives. But the organic movement and the organic community has learned over the last um, 30, 40, 50 years that we are not well advised by just giving simple answers to complex pro problems. Like just um, another example, what we, what we hear um, nowadays, um, a very simple narrative is because we have problems with food security, because we have problems with um, uh, solving or overcoming climate catastrophe or, uh, and to adapt to the climate change, because we have uh, food security um, problems in Africa, we just can solve it with a new GMO breeding technology. We all know here in the room that this is not an answer to these complex problems, but that is what we observe and what we see on the desk, on the tables of authority of governments uh, or in parliaments which are discussed. Complex problems needs the understanding of the relations behind the things. This is the key the key idea of organic, systemic way of thinking. And that is what we try here during the Congress through all our work to try to look behind the curtain, behind the things, to understand who is interconnected with who, with which animals, with which, with which part of our ecosystems. And that is what organic is about. And that is what we try um, during these days to discuss, to have in mind all these complex challenges, what I mentioned, and to understand the interactions, um, how the CAP, the Common Agriculture Policy, for example, is connected with solutions, on the other hand, with, um, um, with the climate change or with the development on our organic market. And that is why we discuss here in the plenary and in the workshops, in the working groups, exactly these issues. Not to create simple solutions, not to create new simple narratives, but to understand the things and relations behind the curtain. And to develop complex solutions 
which can last sustainable and which can really work in our diverse European regions. So let me invite you to participate in this sense to um, the main sessions here in the plenary, which follow after this opening to the common agriculture policy or the, se the, the session on carbon farming where um, organic farming is a clear part of the solution for climate change and for biodiversity. And we, we really have to be very careful when we discuss um, issues like carbon farming that we don't forget all the other ecosystem services or all the other parts of the solution which, is, which are needed when we want to transform the food and farm system. And the other um, session which will be discussed here in the Congress is the organic market. Yesterday, our organic um, retailers group met already here in Bordeaux and discussed the current situation. They analyzed um, uh, where we stand in the different regions and uh, um, created outlooks and solutions for a smart adaptation to a really challenging situation. And at the end, um, uh, we discuss uh, European, a lot of European policies. We discuss the, um, all the actions behind the Green Deal, the European Green Deal, like carbon farming, like the common agriculture policy, but also the initiatives on sustainability labeling, where organic farming already delivers very good answers for um, delivering a clear orientation for consumers. But what we know is um, politicians and other um, active people, they're always looking for new answers. And, but we are part of this game and we are part of this discussion. And we have um, more than 40, 50 years of experience to bring in in this discussion. So this is another very, very important and current issue what we have to discuss during these two, day, two days. So please let us use this momentum to change our way this, um, of thinking complexity, that we think in systems, that we really believe and show that cooperation, collaboration, and synergies are the solutions uh, to make us a good life on this planet as human beings. Enjoy this Congress, enjoy that we meet together, enjoy complex thinking and developing good solutions for our future. Enjoy this European Congress here in Bordeaux. Welcome.